Hey everybody, it's, it's the bad guy here. Welcome back to your trauma on the new blog. Last time we did episode 3 4. This time we do episode 3 5. The results from the liver exam indicate that the patient has been making satisfactory progress. She seems to be recovering well, but it's unclear how this disease was transmitted in the first place. We should continue monitoring her for at least another month. I see. Well, I think it's safe to say that the treatment was successful. How about the pathogen itself? What have we learned? And please keep it brief, Robert. My pleasure. Although our analysis is only partially complete. First, the biopsy. Stigma did not match any known organism, meaning it's a new species, so we have to come up with a name for it. So how about it, Dr. Edward? You'll be a bad father one of these days. My son's only 12. All he thinks about is football. Oh, in that case, I'll ask I'm you. Gay. Gay. Oh, that way. Regarding this spectrum analysis, our attempt is to determine its structure results in the What? How is that possible? I've never heard of that happening before. We tried different machines, but the outcome was the same. We screened new clay that's proteins, glucose, lipids, and ATP, but there were no matches. Stigma consists of an organic compound that is completely formless. What? This will change the way we think about life itself. Whoever is credited with its discovery will show their history from a medical perspective. It's fortunate that stigma's infectivity is weak. We're trying to culture, but so far there's no sign of growth or multiplication. It's going to be difficult to determine the means of infection as well. This is more serious than we thought. Madam Director, we have an emergency. Leslie, we're in the middle of an important conference. Deputy Secretary Marshall has collapsed. He may have intraaxial hemorrhaging. George Marshall. From the Department of Homeland Security? All right, let's adjourn the conference. Leslie, I want you to prep operating room three for me. Vaughn, Layla, you two will be performing the procedure. You want us to operate on a high-ranking government official? I'll explain the details before the operation, so please go make... It's been 35 minutes since he collapsed. He's a nine on the coma scale with mild to kidney act. We're waiting on the CAT scan results, but it's most likely a case of subarachnoid hemorrhage. This is his chart from his previous admittance. We performed deep brain stimulation to treat his dystonia, and he was able to recover from it. It looks like the system is produced by Florida and Cortex, the same company that made the latest one. Yes, it's now a subsidiary of Puman. If you have any questions about it, you can ask Isabella. Director, what's this shadow here on the X-ray? Oh, that. It's a hippocampus chip. We implanted it at his request. He didn't want to forget anything, so he opted to have his memory on it. Well, I assume we're keeping it quiet. Do we need to worry about being in violation of state law? We don't have time to discuss that. Now, the hematoma is far enough away from the electrodes, but take care when using the thrombolytic. Okay, we'll head over to the OR then. These are the results from the CT. Please take a look. A number of aneurysms have been detected. Some of the blood vessels have already burst and are hemorrhaging heavily inside the brain. First, we must clear the excess blood from the area. Then we need to treat the aneurysms. Remember, this is brain surgery. Please be extra careful when performing this operation. Even a tiny mistake can debilitate his brain. Yeah. Be careful. This will require extreme delicacy and dexterity. We need to do our best. Beginning the operation. Since we're operating on the brain, even the smallest mistake can be fatal. We'll have to be extremely careful. Bulge of the vein is the brain aneurysm. Let's remove it before it bursts. I'm getting the sedative ready. 
I doubt I can tell you more than you already know. Since he was brought here promptly, cerebral ischemia was kept to a minimum. And there are no signs of severe paralysis, so we shouldn't have to worry about any after effects. We can't use the MRI, so we'll take another cat scan. Yeah, this is the now. Will you be advising on his rehab, ma'am? Yes, I will. I also need to administer a personality test. Because of his implant, he must be closely monitored. Yeah, good man. Sad, really. Such a talented man. Yeah, I feel sorry for the guy. I don't know why I become at all. Then you can find him. But I'd like to leave him in the hands of the others so I can concentrate on stigma. Agreed. And Dr. Vaughn? It's a shame that you feel the need to keep secrets from us. But I'm hoping that will change. What makes you say that? Your cutaneous muscles seem a little more tense than normal. I'm out of practice when it comes to reading faces. Was my assessment accurate? You're a critical part of the Caduceus team. 
I hope you're not thinking of leaving. Of course not. Okay. Next time on Thomas Emily Loop, I will be doing episode 4-1. See you guys then.